and we are live. Okay. Okay, so the stream quality isn't very good. Let's just see, fix our camera a bit. Wow, this is not, uh... my picture quality is not very good at all, is it? No. And wow, the stream delay is unbelievable. This is what we're going to try to make. Um, man, I'm really going to have to invest in a webcam because the colors are way off. Hmm. Well, that's supposed to be pink and blue. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to try to make this card. I don't know if I can try to get the lighting better for you guys. Let's see if that'll work. I don't have it going directly. There's so much glare. Well, that's not any better. Okay. I'm going to just move some stuff around here. The stream delay is unbelievable for me to watch. Sorry about the noise. My sound alerts are off. Yeah, I know. I don't have sound alerts for this. Okay, we are going to try to flip this around. Maybe minimize the glare a bit. How's that? Colors are still really yucky. Hmm. Oh, that's a horrible sound. Okay, we are going to really try to get a better angle on all of this. How do people do this? Goodness. Hmm. Well, this is what we got. This is what we're working with. And, uh, yeah, that's okay. It'll be fun anyways. So this is the card we're making. And we've got a lot of stream delay, so it's taking me a bit to see what you guys see. It's not really focusing very well. What if I do this? Will it focus better? Not really. Well, it's a little bit better. Okay, well, if you guys are willing to, if you guys are willing to tough it out with me, I'm willing to give it a go. So, I don't know that I want to work on this white thing though. I guess now I understand why people put a map down first, or a piece of paper. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to work on paper here. So what we're going to need to do, we're going to do this little butterfly to start. And the butterfly is actually done with uh, stencils. Can you see it? I really need to get uh, get knowledgeable in where my camera is pointing so that I can properly show you guys things. So we're going to start off with the butterfly that's done with a stencil. And it's a new stencil that I just got right over here put that here so you can kind of see what we're doing. Let the end result.
result will be. So, and it's going to be loud because I've got, I don't have my headset set up. I don't have uh, anything. This was really just, I'm tired of waiting for the proper tools and I felt like streaming and crafting. So this is what I decided to do. All right, so we start off with this one butterfly and I'm going to grab a brush here. I'm gonna make it exactly the same uh, as I did uh, for the sample one. So I use this terracotta, which actually is terracotta, but it actually looks really pink when you're using it. I'm just waiting for my mom to come in. She said she would come in and hang out at the stream. I'm actually going to send her a little message. Give me one sec. Oh my goodness. See why I'm supreme doom in the craft room? Doom everywhere. All right, so I'm going to send her a little message here. she send me a message <laughs> oh, I can't check my texts well I sent her a message on Facebook so hopefully she'll get that so we're gonna do the terracotta so what I've learned um, this was the first time I really used stencils and these types of brushes for stamping so I've learned that you've got to kind of like start a little bit off of your stencil because it gets, it's pretty dark. And then you just go lightly all over inside. And there's a lot of people that have masked off like the areas they're not using, like that flower part that uh, is open. Hey Setson, hey Burke, how you guys doing? Welcome to my crafting stream. A little bit different from Minecraft, but and my setup isn't really the best quality, but uh, this is what we got. Hand re reveal, yeah. So I don't know how uh, horrible the sound is or how bad the picture is, but it doesn't look super clear to me. I guess I'm really going to have to invest in that uh, webcam to be able to do this properly if I'm going to. So, it's really good. Oh, good. Okay, so we've got what we're doing. Uh, we're going to make the card that I made that I posted in Discord. And uh, on my computer, the, the quality is really, really bad for the, the uh, picture. And the stream delay is so horrible to work with. It's hard. I look up and try to see if I've got what I want in frame, and it takes me forever to notice. Uh, I just remembered something that I did differently when I made this the other day. I was using this tool right here. And I think that's what we're going to use because it's easy to clean. And I've got magnets to be able to hold everything in place instead of having to try to use my hand. So we're going to do this. A lot of the stuff that I do when I'm crafting is with stamps and uh, I actually got this um, stencil set not long ago and I've never really worked with stencils. The other day was the first time that I really worked with stencils when I was making that first card and I enjoyed it so I thought you know what this is going to be my first uh, card on stream. So this is a machine to stamp with I don't know how much you guys want to learn about crafting and stamping and stuff, but um, so this here is actually made so that you put this door on and then you put your stamp down and then you stamp it down. 
and then if you pull it up and the stamp isn't clear enough then you know exactly everything nothing moved so you can restamp so that's what this is actually for but we're not going to use it for that right now until later we're going to use it for the magnetic feature of holding my stuff in place and we're going to go in with the next stamp the next layer of this butterfly, which we're just going to lay on top of this one that I already did. We're going to magnet it down. I'm going to move it just a touch here. There we go. And now I'm actually going to use the exact same color to do the butterfly, the, uh, these other little bits here. And we're going to go in darker, and that's a lot darker than I meant to go, but that'll, that's okay. That'll look good. It's going to be much darker than my last card, but that's okay. And uh, I've got people that decided they're going to do laundry while I'm streaming, so I'm really sorry if you can hear the dryer and the washing machine go. So yeah, normally, and I'm going, like I said, this is, these are new to me, these, um, these tools. I used to, um, used, um, oh, sponge. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. I used to use sponges of all words for me to not think of, sponge. Um, but yeah, I usually use sponges and you have to push a lot harder and I'm noticing with these, like you have to, like the lightest touch gives you the effect you want. But uh, yeah, I went really heavy handed on it, but that's okay. We're gonna have a really good contrast between the light color and the dark color. So that butterfly is done. Hello, Druge, how are ya? He is uh, upstairs doing stuff. You can't hear the machine, just me? Oh good, okay because it's the microphone is actually my phone microphone too so everything is just done on my phone right now so we're going to remove this and there we go we've got the big reveal of the butterfly that I made and I don't know if I hold that up a little bit better so we've got like the darker color and the light color and now what we're going to do is we are going to do what they call fussy cut so fussy cut is actually when you don't cut right on the lines and you leave a little bit of a white edge to it. And I thought, I've never fussy cutted. Like I don't cut things out. I don't enjoy cutting. But so last night, or not, not last night, the other night was the first time I actually fussy cut anything. And when I've watched people fussy cut, they're so fast at it and and it's called fussy cut, right? So you think, oh, it doesn't matter how you do it, but um, it's actually not easy to do and I actually don't enjoy it. But it gives a really nice um, result. And the one thing I've learned too, if you guys wanna know how to cut properly, and I was doing it wrong just a minute ago, you need to keep your scissors in the same place and only move your paper. So that's the trick. So you put your scissors down and then you open, but it's your paper that you actually move instead of uh, your scissors. So that's how you get like a distinct proper cut and you cut around and it's slow process, but that's okay. And that ink should be dry, so I should be safe to touch it. The ink dries pretty quickly, but this is Supreme Doom in the craft room. So if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to be me putting ink all over everything. And there I am moving my scissors instead of my paper again. So how are you guys doing this evening? I'm really, thank you so much for coming. And I really, uh, I really don't mind too if you guys came to check it out and it's not your thing and you want to carry on, but I'm enjoying hanging out with you guys regardless. I made my mom an account earlier today or just a little while ago. And uh, she's having, she was having a hard time getting in. She has been waiting for me to go live for a while because I was trying to figure out how to go live on my mobile. Stop moving your scissors, Supreme. Just move your paper. And that's her dinging in on Facebook Messenger, I think. So 
once I'm done cutting this, I'm actually going to take a look at uh, the messages from her on my computer and see if I can help her out or if something came up and she can't make it. Ding! Mama Supreme! Yeah, that's exactly what I, I named her. Mama Supreme 56. And she's, you know, brand new to Twitch. She doesn't do this kind of stuff, right? So trying to walk her through over the phone on how to set up her account and everything and not being able to see what she sees wasn't very easy so but we got it done and now anytime I'm streaming and she's like the best mom because when I asked her I told her I said I'm going to be streaming crafts later do you want to hang out and she said oh okay well um yeah I've got nothing going on so we created her her account and then she said so what are you going to be doing like what are you doing in minecraft i said oh no no i'm crafting making a card she says oh oh well now i'm excited so you know you got the best mom when your mom's gonna like humor you and watch minecraft even though she's really doesn't understand the game just so she can hang out with you my mom is the best mom said supreme really proud yep i do have the best mom i have an amazing mom so, I'm just going to take one second here to take a look at the message she sent me. I'm going to let her know we're talking about her. Oh, you're here too, Mummy. So you hear me. I'm watching on my, I'm on chat, but I don't have my typewriter to type. Oh, okay. She is here. So she heard me. Yay, Mama. Okay, so this is what I can do. I can... Can I do this? No, I can't. All right. That's really cool. Hello, Supreme, uh, Supreme Mom. She's, she should be Super Mom. I think she can see chat. Um, Mom, if you click down um, in that send message thing, your keyboard should pop up. She's on her phone, so. Uh, holy moly. <laughs> you can't see the messages on chat? Okay, well, here we go. So Druge says that's really cool. Well, hello, Supreme Mom, if you can't see chat. Sets in sending you some hearts. Um, I see Mama Supreme and Super Mom. I like it. So let me introduce you to everyone, Mama. So Setson is one of my mods, uh, and he mods with me on Bruno's uh, streams. And Druge is one of my mods, and he's um, ships... Uh, mod as well and he's from uh from bruno's community too that's where we met him and burke mama doom mama doom would have been really good too uh burke is a friend of ours that we play with on first craft and burke is also a mod for bruno and but we met burke uh before we met bruno kind of sort of um yeah so that's these are my people that hang out with me you can't see any messages on chat. Okay, do you have the chat open? Or are you still on my homepage? Because you might have to click on the chat button. The one that's kind of hidden there. Okay, so we've got this fussy cut. It's all ready to go. I actually did a better job than I did on the first one. And I actually really like the fact that it's dark. So now we're going to move on to the next part of the card. And we're going to do this uh, background paper. So again, I don't know, on my computer it's really pale. I can barely even tell that there's a pattern on there, but we're gonna do that with a stencil. And I'm gonna try to plan it out better than I did last time because last time I actually was just fooling around and by accident, it worked out. So I'm gonna take this stencil and we're gonna put it down on top. And I'm gonna try to get it as high up as I can. So I'm actually holding the stencil there, but the paper's not really holding in and that's okay. And then we're gonna go with this pretty peacock, which these are the colors that my mama bought me for Christmas. 
You got a first badge, Druge. Thank you so much for the sub. I'm sorry I'm not hearing any alerts because um, I've got my stream sound off on my computer and the alerts don't come through my phone. So thank you so much for that sub and congratulations on your first badge. Fancy. Oh, you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to grab a different one. We're going to do the blue. Oh, not the blue. That's Seaside. That's another one. We're going to do the Proud Peacock. And this time I really have to make sure to go light because I need one. I need two of these. I need a light one and I need a dark one. So I need to remember to go light, light, light on this one. I don't want to do the dark one first because if I go too dark, then I can at least turn it into the dark one and fix it that way. Hello, Satan. How are you doing? Yes, Mom, we hang out with Satan here, but he is the sweetest Satan you'll ever meet. I have sold my soul to Satan a few times, but only in Minecraft because he bought he built me a, an iron farm and Mr. Bloom, yes, in game, actually we call him Wither Bloom. Oh. Hey Bowser, how you doing? So Satan is from Bruno's community. Bowser, I met her for the first time uh, on a SMP that I used to play on. And she hangs out with Bruno too sometimes. And she also, I play Minecraft with her on First Craft. So she's a member of First Craft. Oh yeah, Bowser has COVID. Sorry, I don't know if I was supposed to say that. I'm really sorry. COVID, uh, Bowser's not feeling well. Sorry. I hope you're feeling better than you were though. I'm really sorry, Bowser. I should have just said you weren't feeling well. Yeah, it does. So Bowser's from Australia, Setson's from Brazil, uh, Druge is from the States, Satan's from the States, Burke is from the States, I know people from all over, and Mum's sending me messages, let me check on that. So we got to it takes a while to blend this all in and just cover it everywhere. I want to go fairly light. Sending love to Bowser, Setson says. Actually, you know what? I'm doing most of this for nothing, which is what I discovered when I did the other one because we only need the edge of the card. Oh, I really hope you feel better soon. I know it doesn't doesn't sound very good from anyone I know that's had it. So we're going to cheat. We actually don't need the center of this card because we're going to put another one on top. And I think I'm going a little too light. So we're just going to do the edges. That's how you craft cheat. Are you vaccinated? Yeah, which kind of isn't anyone's business, but at the same time, too, vaccinated doesn't stop you from getting it. It just, it reduces your chances and helps you. Uh, I know a lot of people that are vaccinated that haven't had as bad of symptoms. Oh, I did this all wrong, people. Okay, this is going to be the dark one. I did this all wrong. And it's the dark one we only need the edge anyway. So we're gonna go in heavy handed. We're gonna darken this up. This is the nice thing about crafts and the nice thing about Supreme is it's like, oh well, we messed up, we'll fix it. I completely forgot that top part has uh, dark shades, dark parts and light parts. So we're gonna make this the dark one all around the edges. And I'll start over with the light one. And if we mess that up, that's okay. Then I've got another background for another time. And we'll make another one. Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I don't think I'm going to get a face cam. Um, but I am going to get um, 
I do want to get a, you know, a webcam to be able to do this properly so I can set it up properly and not go live from my phone because I have really cute backgrounds and stuff done. So we're just going to move this over a bit because I need to get up to the top. Face camera riot. Yeah, you guys are rioting enough in the Discord. So in our Discord, Mom, Discord is like a Facebook type of thing where you can talk to people, like kind of like Messenger where you can send messages and stuff cross between Facebook and and it's only for like community members that join the Discord. And uh, Chip and I take care of the uh, the channels and stuff because it's our it's our Discord for FirstCraft, which is the server ship runs. And uh, they want a pet channel. And Ship at first said no, and Nia, one of our fellow first crafters, um, decided she was going to riot. So she's putting pet pictures in all of the channels, and we're loving it so much that we don't feel like we should be giving in to their demands. <laughs> So, the channel will come, but I'm enjoying this right now. Okay, so we're going to grab another one. And yes, for anyone who's not... Oh, I got ink on that one, so we're going to put that... Let's clean up. And if you're doing crafts and cleaning up, you want to invest in baby wipes. And these are just dollar store baby wipes. Very cheap and inexpensive. Perfect for cleaning up any ink. This wipes right off. And then you make sure to put it somewhere where you're not going to end up putting your paper down on because it's going to get it all wet. And we're going to dry this off. Normally I have... Look at all this paper I have to fan, fan with. Uh, oh, I missed that. Hold on. Wait, we have... Oh, I missed something. Wait, we have Mama Supreme? We do have Mama Supreme here. I may or may not be watching a First Craft stream now, too. That's okay. I mean, there's we're going to be streaming at the same time sometimes. And uh, who is streaming? Sorry, I think you said it, eh? There we go. There's my Canadian A. One for Burke. Great for wiping the car interior down. Yes, that too. Ship's not interested in art? No, not so much. He once, and I loved it, him and I designed a card together one time. Um, I wanted, and I would love to share the card with you, but my nephew's family name is on the card. Maybe I can, I don't know, maybe I can blur it out or something. But it's actually a 3D card. So I can show you a 3D card that I've made over here. A pop-up card so they lay flat like this just waiting for my stream to catch up so I so it lays flat like this but it's called a box card and so it opens up and it turns into a box and it's 3d with all of your little things inside uh, where can you see that there you go well you can't really see it but there you go and it's a box so um, I made a wedding card and he helped me design the moving parts. So when it's laying flat, there's a bride and groom. Uh, you can see a bride, a groom and a bride here. But when you bring it together, they move in together and kiss. So he helped me uh, design that with the little, we needed to design a sliding mechanism inside the box. So I really enjoyed working on him with that. So I would love for him to help me and be interested yeah it's a, one of my I've never made another card like that and I really should I still have the template on how to make the mechanism so I really should do it okay so now we're gonna dip, go with the light one and this one we need everywhere but what I did was I went lighter and darker and I didn't do it everywhere I wanted like a splotchy effect where oh and my stencil moved Nope, we're good. The whole thing moved, so that's okay. So, I just want it 
splotchy. You guys are making me nervous. But to be honest, these little mix up mess ups that I'm doing, I do them all the time anyway, so I'm just trying to be cool in front of my friends. So we're just gonna go here and there, no rhyme or reason. Darker spots, lighter spot spots. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of blue down everywhere. Just so there's no white white. But I do want some darker and lighter. Nervous Supreme, yep. All right, you have a good lurk, Bowser. I hope you feel better, rest up. Um, I'm making this just for you guys, for fun. Um, no, actually, I've decided to make it a sympathy card. I found out last night that my neighbor passed away. So I'm going to make his wife a sympathy card. I thought this would be... I don't know if it's the right colors for a sympathy card, but it's kind of nice and hopeful. You know, pinks and blues and... So, yeah. So I'm going to make that for her. So there's my background. I've gotten the lighter lighter par um, parts and the darker parts. Thank you, Setson. Um, 30 in August, but my body feels 80. Oh, my uncle actually is 80 today. It's his birthday today. Turned 80. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to disable that um, those links there for my crafts, or ha not disable them, but just have them come up a lot less frequent. Oh yeah, I decided this would be a fun idea too. When I'm cleaning up, put a piece of paper down and clean up on top of the paper. And then I'm creating a background as I'm cleaning and I can use it on something else. So we'll see what we get from this. Could be interesting. There we go. That's what we got from that which isn't half bad. I can use that on something. Nice little subtle grungy type looking background. All right. So now what we have to do, we're done with this for now. The next thing we have to do is we've got to cut these pieces down. So I've got my trimmer. Okay, I've got one trim. Oh, here's my good trimmer. Right here. Waste not, want not. That's right. Let me just check out. I did get another Facebook. Oh, it's my daughter. Oh, she's making pretty earrings. I would show you, but I can't. But I'll put a picture in Discord. I'm going to let her know I'm streaming. There we go. So she's making um, polymer. She uses polymer and she's making earrings and she just sent me a picture of a bunch of the earrings that she made. She's got a really, really inventive idea that she's doing with them. She uh, is painting on these earrings sceneries from uh, landmarks in different areas. So she's got some landmarks from the town we live in in mind and she's got some landmarks from Montreal where she is right now so that's interesting I think you should disable them for craft scene I think I should too we can't always use commands if that exactly I think I'm gonna have to disable them for craft streams but like I said I was going live from my uh, my telephone so I didn't uh, I didn't even know how it was gonna work out to be honest so we're gonna clean up this butterfly one and see what that gives us too Waste not, want not. Just noticed on the right, the screen Supreme is telling us something. Thank you, Supreme. What am I telling you? Oh, you're amazing. Yes. Absolutely. Hmm. Well, should I clean my brush with this? Yes. Because there's no outline for that butterfly. So let's clean up the brush. Oh, and I moved it. That's okay. Here we go clean up my brush and we'll make a whole new butterfly. 
very subtle colored butterfly. There we go. Nice and subtle. Very much like the first one I made. So we'll have that for another time. And now it's time to do math. So what we have to do, so my cards are already pre-cut and all you do is cut like a regular sheet of paper in four. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. So this here is the right, exactly the same size. So it's four and a half, a four and a quarter by um, five and a half. But I'm gonna take half an inch off of this top one, um, which means I'll need to take, nope, let's do this first. Let's make sure I, let's start with the one I know for sure. Okay, so we're gonna take a quarter inch off of each side of this. And the reason why we're gonna do each side is so that it stays centered. So if we take a quarter inch off of each side, yes, then we take half an inch off of the other side. There we go. I did have it right. Are we doing half an inch or is that an eighth of an inch? I don't work in inches. So it was there. That's a quarter. So we're going an eighth an eighth of an inch off each side. And then we're going to do a quarter of an inch off the other one. That's what it is. Okay. Math is hard. I should have wrote down the num the exact numbers because then like the ones that I cut it down to and then I would know. So that's there. So we're going to go an eighth to there. Fractions, I know, runs away from math. You know, math is hard. Um, let, oh, let me see. I missed a message. Oh, making earrings supreme is not the only craft, crafting, crafty one in the family. No, you know what? Uh, I stem from a long line of crafters. I actually started crafting. Um, I mean, I, I did a little bit of stuff here and there. But I really got into the card making um, after my grandmother passed away. I got her Cricut, which is an uh, electronic cutting machine. And um, then it was my mom's, not long after that, it was my mom's big birthday. And um, we planned this big party for her and I made a bunch of the decorations for it. And that really got me wanting to do more crafting. So. Crafty, isn't that a Beastie Boy song? I don't know, is it? I can't even think of the tune of that one. Not often that I, you get me on a song, Druge. Let's see who's messaging. Oh. chat with my sister. She's been busy, so she's just touching base with us. So we've got my my sister and my mom and my sister's not here though. She's just in the group chat that we have. The song is called She's Crafty, but it's not to do with crafts. Yes, okay, I think I can pick, I think I can remember it. Or I think I remember it. I'm this math is really making me nervous. And another why does this seem wrong, but we'll figure it out. Alright, so all these little scraps, I've got a nice little scrap cup and I drop them in there and maybe one day I'll use them. That's how that works. Put those there for another time. All right, so 
I'm almost done with this cutting thing. I should actually just do it right now. So I don't know what, how wide that band is that I put there because I had a scrap piece of paper that I used. So two, three, so I'd say that's one and a quarter inch. Let's try that. Let's try one and a quarter inch and see what that gives us. So five and a half, four, four. No, that would be, no, that's where we're going. And a quarter. That seems better. It's a little smaller than the other one. Okay, let's go in half an inch bigger, or a quarter of an inch bigger. What, have, what did I end up cutting here? Because I'm pretty sure I did that mouth wrong. Oh, I did one inch. Okay, so let's go one and a half, or whatever this is. And that's too wide. Okay, so let's take a quarter of an inch off of that. That was one and a half. Yeah, which is exactly what I said in the first place, was one and a quarter is what I wanted. It's just not what I cut. Perfect. That's what we want. So that's exactly the same width as that first original one. And let's get this next part done. So I kind of cheated on this next part. I did. Oh, we're going to cheat like this though. Should we do it this way? No. Let's grab this stencil that I used in the first place the other night. This one. I guess. Okay, so all I did was take this stencil, lay it along with a little bit of an edge to this paper. I don't know if you can see it. And then I cleaned off my brush on it. Making sure not to get into any of the other part of the stencil just to add a little bit of blue to the edge and <laughs> my crafting is professional you think thank you and then I came to the other side I'll wipe it off I got a little bit of a smudge of blue on there that's okay makes it even more handmade, right? When there's little bits of ink where it doesn't belong. I made this nice little edge. My mining is fine. I just can't do much else in Minecraft. I can mine all day. There we go. So there's our little sentiment strip. And ingredients for confetti with the little strips there cut them all down okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring back in that stamping tool that my mama bought me for Christmas and we're going to put it together and we're going to use it the way it's intended so we're going to take this and we're going to put it down and I'm going to snap that in place. I'm going to really try to make sure to stamp on top of that blue. And now I've got here in my stamps, I'm going to want that stamp set, but I have this one right here with sympathy that we're going to use, which is a brand new stamp. Whoops. And they're hard to read. There's the amazing one with sympathy. Here it is. Sorry, this is going to make a lot of noise. Constru constructive criticism. You should silence your alerts because it's really loud when it pings. Oh, on my, yeah, they're on my phone. And I, sorry, I don't know how to do it without let me just see here if I can do it without 
affecting the stream at all. There we go. Got it. Redstone Master, you made little flower farms and mega flower farms. I did. I had a little farm and a big farm. A baby farm and a big farm. Hopefully I'm going to have a webcam and I won't have to worry about streaming from my phone and getting all those alerts and everything. And also have to... I don't think anyone's done any like sound alerts, stream sound alerts, right? I'm going to have to uh, figure something out with that too. Like you were talking about my um, my Facebook messages and stuff, right, Burke? The ding on my phone. Okay, so we put that where we want it, which is right about there. Close the door. Pick it up. And then I need my black ink over here. I need a nice squishy ink with lots of ink on it. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is a brand new stamp. So the first time you use a stamp, you have to season it a bit. And all you got to do to season it is rub your fingers on it and the oil from your fingers will kind of season up the stamp for you. And then you stamp it up, get some ink on there. You just have to dab it. And then we close this. Best thing to do is grab your sleeve and rub it. We know when <laughs> Mama Supreme is talking. Season it like a cast iron frying pan. That's exactly it. So see how I missed part of it? And that's okay because nothing moved, I hope. Because I don't think I moved it. So we can just stamp it up again. I don't think I bumped out anything that magnet's supposed to hold it in place. And we're just going to go over again, and that way we don't double stamp. And I know exactly why it didn't stamp. is because I forgot to put the pad underneath. So hopefully I pushed hard enough that time. Yeah, the S is still really light. Oh, silly supreme. Forgot the most important part. A little better. We might just do this over again. I'll just put some more ink on it. Just on the S. So normally when you use these clear stamps, you're supposed to put a little black foam, which is right here. You're supposed to put that down first so that there's cushion to stamp into, and I forgot it. Well, it's better. I don't know if I want to just make a new sentiment or what do we do, what do we do? We try to do the S one more time. It's raised up a bit, that's why it won't... Because uh... you have some stamps that have foam on them, but this stamp does not have the foam, so you need to add it there. See, where there's a well, there's a way. All right, and then we clean it up, clean up the stamp with a baby wipe. Pull it off of here. Stick it back with the other ones. Throw them all back in there. And there we go. So now we're ready to assemble the card. We've got all the pieces done. So what we're going to do here 
is we're going to kind of lay it out a bit cover this black ink before I get it all over everything flip this over and try to center that as best we can I think there is pretty good I think that'll be good and glue that down in place now we have um, I have some glue that's sometimes you just need a bigger hammer that's right I actually had my toes almost off the ground to push on it so I have uh, what they call is like a runner tape and it's in like a looks like you know the the um, the white outs that you can use that are in like a you know you just do this to white out stuff I've got tape double-sided tape that's in that but I've been really enjoying using the liquid glue because it gives you the opportunity to move things around and slide them around a little bit so we're gonna put that there now that that's nicely glued down we're just gonna cut off the part we don't need with my bigger scissors and you cut from the back that way you know where you need to cut there we go and then there is one thing white oak tape is better than the paint kind oh guaranteed I 100% agree with that and I put a little bit too much glue but that's okay okay so I need one more thing it's over here give me a sec I forgot to bring it over All right, so we're going to raise this up. It's actually raised on the other one. So this is foam tape. You just roughly measure out what you're gonna need. I just went to my counter. Went to get my stuff in my stash. I'm back, never mind, that's right. I'm back. So we're just gonna put it around the edges and then put a couple of pieces in the center. I get this stuff at the dollar store. And I'm actually, yeah, I'm cheaping out a little too much here. I'm gonna put that right at the top because otherwise the card is gonna buckle. So I'm gonna have to put it all along the edge which that is too big. I took my time. I feel like now I'm like, okay, I gotta hurry up and get through this, but you guys are being patient. I don't know why I'm trying to rush through it. It's not a speed run card. This is actually how I usually do it. I put it down with the non-sticky part down, measure it out, cut, And then I have the right amount, put it down. And we're going to use this to raise up the center a bit. Haste makes waste, that's right. That's exactly what I'm doing too. I'm trying to hurry up and... This, um... Normally I use little foam dots that I have and I have uh, a stack of foam actually that I should start using uh, it's a lot cheaper and just put sticky here and there on that and then I can have a foam that's the whole piece and there's no drooping involved on the front of the card so I really should get into the habit of using my foam itself and just taping it so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull up, this is a double-sided foam, we're going to pull up this. You ordered some food sets in so you're here for a while? Good. What did you order? Of course, we need to know. 
And then normally this would be, like these would each be one piece, but I went and pieced it together here. So one trick that you do is you pull off the center ones, but you don't pull off the others. I'm gonna pull off the top. So you pull off the top, but then you only pull off a portion of the side. And you fold it and leave it hanging out the side like that. And you pull it and leave it hanging out the side like that, trying not to rip it. And then, when you have your other piece, you line it up and you're not sticking everywhere. And when you've got it lined up, then you pull off your sides and it has less sticky surface for you to be able to maneuver where you want to put it a lot better. And there you go. That is stuck down now. More or less centered. Not bad. And then we're going to take our little butterfly and we're going to fold up the wings. And we'll take glue. Burger, fries, and shake. Mmm. I love a good burger. Had shakes too. Mine was caramel shake. Ooh. Leo had Oreo. Is Leo learning how to craft with me too today? Hello, Leo. Kind of late here. I was going to skip dinner. Suddenly notification really important popped up, so I'm staying up. Oh. Yeah, well, you need to eat, Setson. I know it's really late. It's nine o'clock here, so it's 11 o'clock there for you, right? There we go. And that card is done. So the other card I added sparklies to, and I think I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to do it a lot less. Actually, the card's not done because we got to stamp. We got to put on a card. <laughs> right now, it's just a piece of paper. I didn't even put on the card yet. Um, and we're going to want to stamp something inside the card which I already know what I'm going to stamp and my cards are I brought out five cards already where did I put them I've moved things around oh here they are I've moved things around to try to set things up and I went and okay so this is our card itself and it's just a white thing so now we're going to pull out the stamping tool again and this time supreme is going to remember to put her pad down first where did she put her pad oh right here and we're going to put this down and we're going to do it upside down actually Oh, no, we're not. Supreme, you can just turn the machine around, you silly goose. And the magnet. There we go. I'm gonna put it up in the corner. There we go. And look, Supreme, you can turn your machine around. And we're gonna get the other magnet out. And these magnets are so strong. That's why I've put tape on this so I can pull it up. And we're gonna put it, uh, put the second one down. You can't, if these two click together, they'll snap each other. That's how strong it is. Uh, once assembled, it's like a whole new level. I know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, stoked about this actually. Okay, so the message we're gonna put on the inside is on this one and oh okay these are the ones this needs prep work okay this is what I was talking about where some of them have foam so this one does have a foam already um, this is brand new too you're in my thoughts I might end up going with my usual go-to that I use instead I think that's what we're gonna do because this one here I have to prepare it I have to put 
glue on the back. Loosen up, will ya? Okay. Loosen up is the stretch one, right? All right. Actually, that was really good. I cracked my back. That felt good. There. Thank you, Setson. Yeah, so... Mommy! I've never had these kind of stamps before, and when I do, my mom already had them put together for me. So, Mama, I have to stick this to my stamp. Is that it? Oh, this one's sticky on both sides. You told me I had to put glue on it. Okay, so that goes on there, like that, to identify it. Oh, nice! It's already got sticky, so I guess the old ones didn't have sticky and you had to put glue on it yourself. So I don't have to do that. So I can get rid of this foam, because see, this one's already got, it's got its own foam on it. There, and we don't want today to be on there. I want you in my thoughts. And I am going to get, where are they? I'm just gonna get tape. Tape will work. We're gonna tape up the today. Usually you put like a post-it note or something but I actually don't have any post-its handy. So I'm just gonna use this painter's tape and we're gonna cover the word today. Cause I mean, it's a sympathy card. They're not just in your thoughts today. I'll trim this off. I've never taped off, like masked off a section. I've only seen this done. So it should work, right? In theory, it seems like it would work to me. As long as I get it on there properly. And we're going to do a test run on it. Okay, so this little scrap here, we're going to use this as a test run. See how strong that magnet is? I'm trying to lift that up. There we go. Wrap it around. Supreme is sus because I'm your mod and your friend. Don't tell ship, but I'm loving this craft stream. Thank you. Crafts are fun. I won't tell ship that you're my friend. So what you do is you put it down where you want it. Pick it up. Oh, let's use this magnet. It's easier to pick up. Pick it up. And then the nice thing about this test is uh, I can just cut this out and use it another time on something else. Let's see. Oh, I didn't season it. That's okay. Yes, my puppy. My, That's Lexi. Oh, yeah. It's all making sense to me. So I've seen streamers, or not streamers, but YouTubers, they only ink up after they've I mean, sorry, they only tape after they've inked, and that makes total sense to me because I ended up getting ink on the tape. Okay, now that I'm inked up, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna remask that. See, I'm learning as I go. I really am a newbie, newbie crafter. There we go. All right, let's see if this works. You're in my thoughts. It works. All right. So we max after we tape or after we ink. And I think I'm going to leave this down too because I want it darker. And if I mess that up, it's okay. It's just the card. The whole card isn't assembled. That's why you stamp the inside. Getting my hair everywhere. That's why you stamp the inside before you are done. That way, if you messed it up, you don't have an entire card that you have to fix. But even if you do mess it up, you just cut a piece of paper with your sentiment on it and you make it nice and fancy on the inside. So there's always a way to fix it. Always. 
might not be what you had in mind, but it is really strong. Living and learn, and next thing you know, Setson's going to be doing crafting streams. <laughs> How did we know it wasn't ship walking? Yeah, well, that would be some pretty long nails. Can you clean this off too? The floppy ears when the dog will shook. Yeah. Lexi is our bull mastiff. She's not a little puppy. Although she thinks she's a lap dog. When my daughter comes over, she lays down on her lap. Okay, so I think we're going to put that right there. I think that'll be a good spot. Pick it up. Pick it up. Mastiff, yeah. I know my kids actually used to ride her like a pony. No wipe. Actually, why do we need to mask it? What if I just wipe off the ink? Would that work? No, nope, because it moves the stamp. I don't want to move the stamp at all. But we will take some of that ink off. Okay. We will mask it. But now I've wiped it, and now it's wet. And I'm getting, like, look at these fingers. You know you had a good crafting session when you've got dirty fingers. Okay, please stick. Please. Unless I should get, should I get a fresh piece of tape? Let's not be cheap, Supreme. Grab yourself a new piece of tape. It'll work a lot better. And then you won't mess up, and then you won't be upset with yourself. I do get right into my work. And you know what? It's the um, the stenciling, actually, that's really messy. I don't normally get this bad. Um, the only time that I've gotten really, really bad other than uh, this stenciling is when I was making my superheroes for my classroom. Because I was actually using ink and coloring with the inks with a sponge in my hand. Oh, I messed that up and it's crooked. That's okay. We're going to, what should we do? Should I just grab another card or should I cut out a center thing? Oh, okay, this is what we're gonna do. And I'm not really loving this sentiment. I have a better one that I like using. Okay, we're gonna cut out a piece of paper. What about this? Is this too small? Oh, but you can see through it. But yeah, we're gonna cut out another piece of paper. We're gonna trim it with blue ink around and we're gonna stick it in the middle. And we're gonna tie in the outside to the front, the inside. But first we're gonna put this away because my table is really tiny. Clean this up. No big deal with the mess up though, it's always fixable. It just ends up sometimes not being what you envisioned, but it always ends up turning out okay. Just different. So we'll put that back here. Put that back here. Give me one second guys, I need to find my other sentiment stamp, okay? I will be right back, I'm not far. I'm actually just over here. I don't know if you can still hear me. And pull up the other stamps. I only have a few. Here we go. And now I need to remember what stamp set it's on. I used to use my mom's stamp set, but I gave it back to her. I'm just trying to think of what set it's with. This is probably really loud for you guys. 
Hmm. I really don't remember what set it's in. So, I'm going to show you my computer. I won't leave forever, I promise. Can you see? If I bring this up just a little. No, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, it just blinds you with the... I was going to show you the program I use to organize my stuff. Yeah, you can't see my computer though. The screen, the light was too intense to be able to see. Okay, don't move that. So I have this, um, oh, it's on my old computer though. So sad you can't see my messages. Like in the stream, you mean, Mom? You're not sending messages in stream, right? Oh, my daughter wanted to join. She wanted the link to the stream. Didn't see that. There's my mama. But are you typing in the stream, Mom? Or just in Facebook? You're chatting with everybody else? Why are we not seeing your messages? Setson can see your messages? No, he says he hasn't seen your messages, Mom. I haven't seen any of your messages come up. I wonder if, um, I wonder if it's because I'm saying stuff and they're answering you, Mom? Oh, no, he can't see your mess. No, he can't see your messages. If he goes into the, um, like, the attendance, like, see who's in stream, your name is there. But they can't see you typing. They only see that you're present here in the attendance list. I don't know what else to call it. All right, so what was I doing? We are going to make something to put in the center of that card, aren't we? Okay, so we're gonna take this and um, this is what I want. And how about I'm like really experimenting here because this is not what I was expecting. What about, I have like hundreds and hundreds of stamps, but I don't want to be fussying through all that while you guys are here. I don't want to bore you with that. So let's do whatever I've got right here on hand. And let's just experiment because it's not going to be lost. What if we did this? I know I love the magnet board. What if we do this? We're going to put this like this. Oh, there's a bird on there. We don't want the bird. We're going to make sure the bird doesn't end up on the card. I didn't even notice there was a bird till I pulled it off. So we're going to place the stamp like this. Oh! Guys, you forgot to remind me about my foam pad. My old, my old one like this was not um, 
very good and I didn't have a foam pad for it, so I'm not used to Am I back? Yay, I'm back. Now my only concern is, um, I'm plugged into my computer, so I hope it's giving enough of a charge that it's gonna keep it going. Because I don't have a block to plug into right now. And now I've got tons of wires all around me. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the welcome back. There we go. Yes, refresh if uh, you don't have a picture. And, oh, my mouse is disconnected so I can, here we go. Okay, so, Mum, I don't know if you're back or not, but stream died and I'm back. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think she refreshed because she's on her mobile, so it's kind of... And like I said, it's all new to her, but I sent her a message. And... So I'm going to put this down with two magnets. User list says Mama Su Supreme is no longer here. Well, well, I sent her a message. Maybe she'll come back. If not, you know what? She was actually... She told me she wanted to watch a movie and she would have till about 8 o'clock. So I only went live at 8. So she might want to do her little winding down before bed. It is getting late. I moved this now. It's not lining up the way I want. I really don't want that bird on there. Or his beak. Okay, stop sticking to my fingers. There we go. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna make something different. Put some ink on there. This is gonna be much darker than the outside of the card though, because the outside was just brushed on. Okay, this could work. Yeah, I think this could be good. Except now we're going to have to wipe between each use because I don't want to get that ink all over the place while I'm positioning it. It would have been faster for me to reach into my stash and grab some stuff. There we go. We're going to put that right there. Put that down. It's shaking a bit, okay, because it's leaning up against the table. There we go. That should be good now. When I move the table, it shouldn't move the camera. Thank you. Come on, unstick. Mama messaged. She's back too. Still can't see. <laughs> Setson says, or Mama says, thank you, Setson. Glad to be back. Yeah, I don't understand why you're not able to type in chat, Mom. You know what's like super amazing about this? I won't accidentally call her her real name. Well, I am calling her her real name. I'm calling her Mom. It's so easy to not even have to think before addressing her. It's just Mom. It's perfect. I'm loving it. There, it's not shaking, right? I think this is going to be cute. What do you guys think? And then we're gonna have to trim it up too. 
Oh, I forgot about that. We got to trim it. So I could put the bird and just cut the bird right off. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about the bird too much anymore because I got to trim a little bit off so that it's a little bit smaller than the, uh, the inside of the card because we're going to want a white border. Just going to need to stream many more times so Mama Supreme can get to watch her on Twitch. That's right. That's right, there will be other times, and I'll get her set up. She'll know how to work Twitch. Just tough to do it all over the phone. When I can't see her and she can't see me, and please explain to me what you see, that kind of thing. I'm liking this. Now this is going to go, how are we going to, oh. Maybe put your stamp the right way there, Supreme. Uh, right there. Go. Oh, there's a branch. Oh, now this is really working backwards. To stamp it up. You don't have Twitch on mobile, only PC. You have it on the TV now, but haven't watched stream on TV yet. Am I? You haven't watched it? Oh, yes. We have that too. You can get into Twitch directly from the TV. Um, we have the computer hooked up to our television too. So we watch it. We use the TV as the screen all the time. Chat would be hard on the TV. Yeah. I know... Like a guy's trying to reach me how to connect the new program at work. Super weird when two people can't see the same screen. Exactly. Exactly. That was exactly the problem. Let me put that there. This is going to be like quite lopsided. Because I remembered I had to trim after after I started. It's going to be interesting. It'll be a big reveal for all of us. The phone has less delay for you? I can believe it. That little leaf didn't get stamped as much as the others. I guess I didn't ink it up as much. This is why this platform is nice, because I can just go in, ink up that leaf, and re-stamp it. This is quite cute and lovely. Come on, Magnet. Cooperate with me. Oh, we're going to have to move this over. Oh, I got ink on it. My inky fingers. That's okay. We're going to just fix that blob with something else. No biggie. See why I have the idea, the attitude of, eh, no biggie. We'll just fix it. You have to with crafts. Uh, now, what about that corner? How about we do it like that? And put this on. Just a future flower, that's right. Maybe it would help if I put some ink on there. My ink, my stamp is now upside down to be like backwards to be able to stamp it. And it's kind of disorienting. And then there's this thing that like a lot of YouTubers and fancy crafters have for rubbing. It's this big fancy block with a foam pad, like a foam pad on it and you can rub it instead of using your hands. And I wanted one, but they're really expensive. So I'm gonna try this for the first time. So I went to the dollar store the other day and this is actually, you put this on a painting, like a broom handle 
for painting, for cutting corners and stuff. So I forgot I had this. I'm going to try that for rubbing. And then if it works really well, then I'll invest in the more expensive one. I'd like to have two monitors on my PC. I might even try a stream if I did. Yeah, um, I never had two monitors. I didn't have much for computer before I met Shit. I had like a laptop and that was it, nothing fancy. And uh, when he came in with the two monitors, it was kind of like life changing, especially for work and report card time when I used two monitors the one time. Yeah, the painting thing is amazing. So let's see if it works for crafts. I have so many things that I've got. Oop, I forgot. Oh, I even forgot to stamp. Ink, Supreme Ink. Mind you, that subtle look would look really nice too. I could stamp off on another piece of paper, but I would have had to do it all along. Okay, let's use our fancy $1.25 gadget. The thing with the other one that they have though, that they sell for specifically for this looks very heavy. This is like so cheap and light. Works good. Oh, this is nice. I think my mom would probably approves of this. I think she's going, this is working. You should see the cards my mom makes. They're beautiful. Oh, ink. Yeah, I really like that subtle thing. I should have maybe done one dark, one subtle. Just play with it, but that's okay. I'll make more cards and play around with it that way. Who's here? We'll be right back. All righty, sets in. Almost done with the contour. I should have just taken the time to go and get one of my frame type things that I have. But as long as you guys are enjoying this, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I don't know how I'm going to get another one in there. We'll make it work. Speaking of pizza, I'm sad that I missed the pizza challenge, but I was kind of busy this week. I think the pizza challenge is going until um, Valentine's Day, if I'm not mistaken, because I know I thought about Valentine's Day being exactly one year since the last I participated in the last pizza challenge. That's a supreme border. Well, thank you, Capsicle. How are you doing? Capsicle is my daughter. How are you? So Mama Supreme is here, but she can't chat. She's chatting to me through Facebook. And, uh, I don't know if anyone in stream here can make the reference of why she's capsicle. You see what she did there? Yeah, she's she's a clever one like her mama and her nana. Okay, we're going to have to... Now I'm going to have a hard time with capsicle not calling her by her real name. That might slip. How are we going to put that in there without overlapping? Um, you know what? Do I have just a single flower in it? I do. Oh, this set has a single flower to put in there somewhere. Or just a leaf. Um, is that the same flower? give this a try. I've doxed the blind bread on stream at least three times. Yeah, well, I doxed the youngest one today. First time she was anywhere near my stream, I called out her name. I 
think that's going to look way different from the others. I don't think that's even the same flower. Let me grab a block so I can stamp it somewhere else. Give me one sec again. So when you have a steady hand, you can use these stamping blocks. Does this have plastic on it? Or is it just that? Crafting and painting is more to your liking than mining and crafting. Yeah, capsicle is... Um, capsicle does a lot of stuff. Capsicle is doing her masters right now in architecture. So she's a full-on artist. Oh, okay, normally these little blocks that I have are clear, transparent blocks, so, okay. We've got my scrap piece of paper here. I'm gonna get a little bit of ink on here. Stamp it down and see if it's even the same flower. That's close. I don't think anyone's gonna notice that it's different. Let's go for it. Only stream will know. Let's get that in there somehow. Which way does it fit best without overlapping? Uh, what if I, what if we tape this off? Let's tape it off. Yeah, Capsicle is very much Marvel fan. For years, the poor girl only got um, superhero, superhero stuff. I would go shopping and anything superhero I would get for her. Let me try. There. You are living there now. There. That's not that bad. Nobody will ever know. Plus we're going to trim a little bit off. So no one is ever going to know. Now, with this, should we do the writing in blue and we're going to stick with that um, stamp that I had the uh, thinking of you or should we do black and let the blue kind of have its own space let's close this up yeah capsicle knows so much about superheroes I know nothing Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to find, my name actually should be not Supreme Doom, it should be Super Messy Doom, because I make the biggest messes when I do anything. Chip doesn't even like it when I go in the kitchen because I make such a mess. Where did I put? The sentiment that I accidentally stamped wrong on here. Okay, but didn't I stamp it somewhere else too? See if it was going to work. Was that on here? No. Hmm. I thought I stamped out another one, didn't I? I don't want to cut this card. Is it on here? No. Where did it go? Oh, I threw it in here, right? Did I? I did. Okay. So let's do this. Super fussy cut this out. And just see, do we go with black? Of course, stamped right directly on there. Or do we go with blue? Can you guys see that? Supreme mess. Oh, that's a good one, Druge. Ship is messy too. Didn't you check his inventory? You know what? Ship is super messy in um, Minecraft, not messy IRL. 
I organize things in Minecraft, not so much IRL. I think we're going to go with the black. I think the blue might end up being too much blue. I'm worried it'll just kind of, nothing will pop. It'll all just kind of mute together. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we're going to cut a quarter inch off of each side. Here we go with math again. I just like math. We're going to do a quarter inch or are we going to do an eighth of an inch? Let's go with an eighth first, first and if we want we'll take more off if we have to. You can always take more off later. You can vouch for that? Yeah. I am very much the messier one. Supreme can organize trolls in a chat room like a pro. Sure I can, but I can't organize the stuff on my table. There's a little bit there that I don't want. I wish we could, let's just move it over just a tad. Okay, there, I think that still has a nice border and that little thingy there, that's okay. So now we take this. Yeah, I think that's gonna be cute. That'll be good. Okay, so let's see if we can get this centered, and I've got blue all over that, so we need a new card. More baby wipes. Need more baby wipes. I'll get this ink off my fingers, or I'm just going to end up inking everything up. Math runs away. It's okay. Math, the math is done. The math is done, sets, and it's safe. Yeah, and then what we'll do with that card that I smudged up, it's not a big deal, we'll just use it for something else. Where I'll cover it up with something. All of these little scraps here. Make sure my hands are clean. There we go. We're good to go. My little stamping tool. Off. Oh, that one's the wet one. It wasn't very wet anymore. Baby wipes are the best. Don't forget to put that away too, Supreme, or you're going to lose it. That goes there. And where's my stamp? Right here. Nope, that's the with sympathy one. snap together. The one thing though about having this foam is you don't have your ruler to make sure you're straight. Okay, let's put this right in the corner. Let's do it properly. Should we have more flour up top? Yeah, it gives us room to sign down here. All right. Now, oh, you know what the problem is? I probably didn't put that sticker on straight. It's probably part of my problem why it's coming out crooked. It's okay. It's all part of being handmade. There we go. 
Oh, we didn't need that foam. Goodness, these magnets. We don't need the foam with that one. It was the beginning of a different project the whole time. No problem. That's right. I have a bunch of things that... Well, that was a fail for that one, but we'll use it for something else. Psst. Your Supreme Mother suggests a blue ink border around the edge of the sentiment. Okay, but... But Nana... We're... I'm not going to put it on a... Thing... Like on a cutout thing. That was just a test. I was gonna, how? So you want me to cut out a shape and put it on there and put the blue edge? Is that what you're suggesting? A blue ink border around the edge of the sentiment. I'm not quite sure what she means if she means like cutting it out into like a shape like a much better shape than this like okay you know what I have a very good good solution this is what we do for this I need a bigger craft area is what I need and then ship would kill me because I would just buy more stuff to put in it. Okay, so we're going to put this aside. She said nothing. Ignore me. <laughs> All right. All right, because the other option is to, like, stamp it on. I have a bunch of pre-cut shapes here. Would be to stamp it on a pre-cut shape. And make the edges dark and stamp on there. But let's just go straight on that thing. Okay, so we don't need this. We shall not ignore Mama Supreme's advice. <laughs> we shall consider it. And then we will ignore it. <laughs> I don't think it was her advice as much as she didn't quite realize what I was doing, maybe. Never ignore the Mama. No. Nope. <laughs> I think w what we need to do is ignore the capsicle. I think maybe did the capsicle misinterpret or was the mama just not quite hearing stream properly. Okay, so that's straight. I've lined it up. There's lines on here. I don't know if you can see on this side, but there's lines. So that's definitely straight as long as it's centered and it's not. So we're going to move it a little bit in. Straight. There. Yeah, so I put that sticker down crooked. That's what happened on the last one. All right, now we're going to go with black, right? Is that what we're doing? Don't cry, Capsicle. How are my emotes coming along? Have you been working on your earrings all day? Capsicle is going to make my emotes for me. And if she has time, she's going to make a new one for Ship to add to his collection. You're going to head off feeling quite tired and sleepy, need a nap. The card is looking amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping in and do rest up, Bowser. Hope you're feeling better soon. Take time and take that nap. I'll post a picture in Discord of the finish. Well, it's going to be pretty much the exact same card that I've already posted in Discord. Um, and it's like all things, right? It takes less time when you make it yourself than when you're streaming. All right, this tape is not sticking very well. As long as it masks it a little bit. Where's my tool? Here it is. I think the bonus of this 
losing weight from not eating. Yeah, I know that feeling. I hope you do get to eat soon though. It's not fun to not be able to eat. Ta-da! I'm gonna make that darker though. I want it much more black and bold. I think it's because the stamp isn't quite seasoned yet. So it's not taking the ink very well. I guess I'll have to come back when I teach you guys how to heat emboss and do all kinds of stuff. The heat embossing is really cool. You take ink and you put it down and then you have these little plastic beads that you put in on top and when you take the heat to it um, you end up with that raised um, stuff that you get in regular card like on cards that you get like Hallmark and stuff you know when you've got like embossed writing it's really cool and makes it really good. There. I don't mind that. I mean, I'm not loving the sentiment itself. I do have a, a nicer one, but I can add my own words. Silver lining the Bowser. Always looking at the positive. Oh, my wet one's over here. No wonder this isn't working properly. That's my old dry one. There we go. That works a little better. Sorry, I'm shaking the table again. That was me leaning on the table. If you guys could see the... Like, you can see a mess here, but if you could see how, like, widespread this mess actually is. But we're having fun, right? all about having fun. Where did I put that? It's not that one. It's not that one. Not that one. It's not that one. Well, where in the world does this go? I'll just put it there for now. There we go. Okay, we're ready to put it all together. So now we get a new card base that isn't smudgy full of blue. Who's going to give us the table? Who's going to use the table beside me anyways? No, nobody. This is my table. This is a table that I bought for my basement uh, with intentions to buy some bistro chairs to go around it. So that, you know, we could play cards or visit or have company or whatever. And I never ended up buying the the chairs. And so now it's in the corner next to my craft stuff. And I've claimed it. And I'm going to get that runner tape. One sec. I was out of the runner tape. I had to go on my stash and get my extra one. So this is a brand new runner tape. There we go. Easy peasy. I love that for like the speed of it. But it's harder to line up because once it's kind of touching anywhere, it sticks. See? That's why I like the liquid glue because you can shift it a little bit. But there we go. Loving it. Now we can take this and I think we'll runner tape that too. It's 
actually not faster than liquid glue, but it's fun. Poker night at Supreme's house? Sure, but I don't know where we're going to play because this table is a mess. <laughs> All in. I call. Royal flush. And... I shifted. There. And there we go. All put together. I really like that. Okay, now. Now we have to decide on one last thing before I go. Do we add the glitter? Which, okay, so this band of glitter here was supposed to just be this blue with a little bit of sparkly, but my glitter pen actually was the first time I used it and it exploded. And so now you can barely see the blue underneath it. Um, on one side, are you talking about cards? Oh, that's right. Glitter on a sympathy card, maybe. You're right. You might be right. Keep it plain and simple. You're right. See, it's good to have people here. And actually, men are really good for giving advice on cards. Ship actually gives me really... If I'm stuck on a... I don't know what color to use. I just go to him and say, which color? And he actually chooses better than I do. So that's it. The only thing I'm going to do is... Um, sign it and then I have a little personal stamp that I put on the back that I can't show because it's my name but I just take it and it's got a little stamp and you go and it says made with love by with my name so I'm going to stamp that on the back sign it up from the family and there's our card I'm streaming for 37 minutes and two seconds Burke at a lurk with the good suggestions. That's right. Hey, Burke knows when to, to come out and say something. Thank you, guys. I'm pretty proud. And, yeah, I think they turned out quite nice, both of them. Similar but different at the same time. I'm pleased with them. And I like the fact that, like, it's kind of actually hard to tell that I used the same color even on both of them. Because one is so much lighter than the other. And uh, yeah, I think a very good call with no glitter. I'm really liking this. I'm loving it, actually. Very nice. Thank you, Capsicle. Two streams today, three hours, two hours now, five hours stream. Yeah, because I did, what was my first, was it only an hour? Oh, I've been streaming since what, 8.30? An hour and a half I've been streaming total today. Thank you. Hey, Nia! How are you? You missed our card making. We just finished. And Mama and Capsicle. Capsicle is my daughter and Mama is my mom. Uh, Nia plays with me on First Craft also. She's a fellow streamer. Uh, and on Minecraft, on First Craft. So yes, so my mom is here, but she can't talk and chat for some reason. And my daughter Capsicle is here. So I think that's what, uh, I think we'll call it there. I could actually keep going. I would just make something else, but I'd have to clean up first. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys don't wanna hang out while I clean up and think of another card to do. So I'm, thinking I want to do this like once a week. I really enjoyed it and I need to get into crafting more. I enjoy it. I don't do half as much as I would love to. Um, oh, before you go, I could show you stuff actually is what I could do. I know it is a job for tomorrow, but ship, not sh ship won't get upset with me. He'll just be like, um, you think maybe you should tidy up your area? before you start another project. And he's right. Uh, Nia. 
I missed the entire day was chilling like Setson told me to. Oh, well, good for you, Nia. You got to take some time for yourself. And you're here now, so that's good. Nia gives good advice. Oh, thank you, Nia. My personality and my card making is beautiful. Thank you. Can I, um, okay, so anyone who has things to do and what needs to go, I completely understand, but anyone who wants to stick around and see some of the things that I've made, I'd love to show you a few things. I'd love to show you capsicles. 16th birthday card? No, was it your 16th or was it your 18th birthday card? Capsicle. I'm trying to think now. I guess it would have been your 18th. Uh, because I haven't been doing this long enough for it to have been your 16th. Thank you for the follow, Capsicle. Now you can come hang out with me all the time. All right, I'm going to get, yeah, I think it was 18. I think you're right. You know what I need to do is I need to find myself like a little plastic tray that I can just put things in um, so that at the end of the stream I can just clean it up instead of having them strewn everywhere, like amongst garbage and stuff, because I don't want, I don't want to lose a stamp in garbage. Okay, let me clear this away and let me get capsicles birthday card that I made for her that was actually so big I had to put it in a gift bag. So hold on one sec. So this was actually one of my first projects and the glue is coming apart. I'm going to have to re-glue it. Um, this took me like two, three weeks to make. I designed, I went online, found a bunch of stuff and then a lot of the things that I found weren't made for a cutting machine so I had to turn them into cutting files and turn them into a cut machine so, or a cut file. And it's falling apart. There's a little star in the bottom of the bag. Maybe for your next birthday, I'll fix your card. Let me just get it fixed up here before I open it up for you. Make sure everything's stuck on there properly. Because it looks like Hawkeye lost his bow. <laughs> what? I heard Ship say something and now I don't have my mouse to be able to scroll back to see what he said. Or something up high or somebody else said something. Love and big hugs. I don't know what it was. How can I scroll this way? Nope. Oh, Mama Supreme is leaving? Yeah, it's getting late. Huh, I can't scroll back. Have a great night, Mama Supreme. Hey, ship appears. I noticed you've been watching someone other than your wife, ship. Oh, really? Hmm. You got here. Yeah, ship wasn't here. But that's okay. I mean, he does his thing. I do my thing sometimes. Bye, Mom. You've been here, Shbrook. Yeah. Okay, I really missed um, a bunch of and I don't have my mouse because I had to plug in my phone. So, this is one of the box cards. So it lays flat like this. Flat-ish. And we've got superheroes. And on the other side, we've got more superheroes. And happy birthday to our favorite superhero. And then when you open it up, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in. I think this is really falling apart. I used cheap glue, I guess. I'm going to have to... Oh, come on. Stop giving me a hard time. These little stars should be up here. 
and we lost Hawkeye's mask. Okay, we open it up. Let's just get rid of these stars. Stuck. Oh, and Captain America fell right off. Okay, let's glue him back on. You fell there, Cap. You guys can't see this whole thing anyways. I'm fiddling with it and it's too big to show in the camera. Yeah, I'll fix this up and I'll show you guys some other time when it's all fixed up. Because it's just been sitting on the shelf. But it's another one of those box cards, but it's huge. Absolutely huge. Even my light from the... There we go. <gasps> there, now we can see better. So that's her card. It looks much better when it's all placed and everything's really tangled right now. But some people get flowers. This girl got a bunch of superhero stuff. Baby Yoda card? Okay, I can try to make that happen. Uh, in this carrier and you can open the lid. Ah, maybe we can look into that. I did, I spent so much time on this, but it was my, like this was my first project. After I did the decorations for my mom, which were a lot of work, but um, they were simple. Uh, this was my next project and I didn't go small for my real first project to be honest. I mean this is pretty pretty detailed for your very first project. It makes this look very simple. <laughs> Doesn't make it any less beautiful but this looks quite simple compared to this. So yeah. Well, I think we will be uh, heading out. Very well detailed project for sure. Thank you. Animated Baby Yoda card with sound. Oh yes. Oh, stream's going down. Well, it stuttered. It didn't go down, but it stuttered. Okay, before I do end up losing stream for some reason, I think maybe we will uh, pack it up. I don't know if anyone like any crafting people are streaming to go to. There's very few people that craft. Um, but since you guys all like Minecraft, we could just go to a, oh, Kit's streaming. Yeah. Thank you, Burke. Can't wait for ship stream tomorrow morning. Oh, is ship streaming tomorrow morning? He might. Thank you for coming, guys. Yeah, Kit's... Oh, is that a sarcastic... Oh, Kit's live? Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, so let's all head over to Kit. And thank you so much, uh, Capsicle, for stopping in. And... Uh, no, you didn't know, Supreme? Okay, I believe you, Ship. And thank you, Mama, for being here, even though I think she's gone now. Um, yeah, I'd really, really like to do this, like, once a week, at least once every two weeks. I really enjoyed it. So let's go Raid Pro. Oops, let's spell his name properly. Come on, Supreme. Pro Kitman. I don't think I have a Twitter command. I should have a Twitter command. I don't think I put one in. Still no Twitter command. Nope, I guess I'll have to put that in. So, uh, raid message. I think we should write Supreme Doom in the craft room.
bringing glitter to your stream. Supreme Doom rating from the craft room. Oh, I like that one too. It was lovely Supreme. Thank you very much. Our crafting queen. <laughs> this was really fun. Honestly, I really, I'd love to make this at least a, every second Saturday night. I like yours though, Burke. I really do. But I like the glitter. I think, I think pro Kitman would appreciate the glitter coming into his stream. Gets messy, gets into everything, you know. So, I think he'll like that. And I'm gonna head you guys, or send you guys on over right now. Um, and I'm gonna turn my uh, now. Ship can go clean Supreme's mess. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, thanks so much. See you over at Kits. Okay, bye.